Thanks Rum and Q for sponsoring this video. I'd consider that a burger is one of the greatest things in the world. And today, I've decided to make a burger fit for Kratos from God of War. Let's, Let's do this! Just a little bit, just a little bit. Hello, is Kratos there? Hello, is Kratos there? Where did you come from? Who's Kratos? Kratos is like God of War, PlayStation 4. You know, God of War Ragnarok and PlayStation 5 is coming out in 2022. Never play God of War. How do you not play God of War? I work a lot. And I just do other stuff to relax. And then what are you doing right now? Well, I died. I lost my focus and I died. Yeah, but it's but God at least of War. You're, but at least you're here now because you're the one that invited me over. We're going to be making a burger fit for Kratos. And now what does that involve? What that involve is chicken mince, pork mince, beef mince. And last but least, the lamb mince. Oh, do I see bacon here? You sure you see that right? Yes, that's bacon, that's bacon. streaky bacon. It wouldn't be a burger fit for Kratos without the bacon guy. bacon. Oh, it's amazing. Oh. But we do have to okay. bind that pork and that chicken together with a few breadcrumbs and a few delicious little eggies. Yes, we've got to bind it together. She will fall apart otherwise. It's mixed grade. Is that okay? Oh, it's okay. Kratos likes them in the wild, so that's okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So we've got the ingredients in front of us, including the cheese and the buns. What next? Well, next we're going to make it for Kratos. Kratos is going to love this. You're going to love me, Kratos. I'm your biggest fan. You game a lot, don't you? The barbecue game, it does barbecue game a lot. This is an epic burger of epic proportions. And hey, everyone's got to eat, right? So let's make it a spectacle. <sighs> Gonna have so much fun with this. <sighs> Stick around to the end of the video, find out how much this burger fit for a god cost to make. So tell me, how are we going to create this burger supposedly fit for a god? How? How? Well, that's the thing. And I decided that a god would have four different types of meat patties. Beef, chicken, lamb and pork. So we put those together. Four stack on a burger. That's huge! And then I'm going to try and eat it, okay? Like, I'm going to try and eat it because if it's fit for a god, it's got to be fit for the barbecue gamer, right? Yeah, if you say so! I'm still trying to process the fact that it's going to be four stacks. That's bigger than my head. But that's what a Greek god would eat, right? Yep, yep, okay, if, yeah, definitely fit for a god, for sure, and if, it, if you say it's fit for a god, it's definitely fit for a, a barbecue gamer like you. Absolutely, not that I'm implying a god or anything, right? If you say so. <laughs> 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 Alright. I decided to get the bacon on. Now, I love bacon personally, and I know that a god would deserve bacon on his burger, so I decided to do that for Kratos. If you like bacon, let me know down in the comments below. Personally, this is going to be absolutely delicious when it's completed. I can't wait to get my mouth into this. This is exciting me, just watching the bacon going into the oven. Alright, now it's time to get the meat seasoned. We do each individual one, salt and pepper. I like to put them into balls, flatten them out and truck them in the tray ready to go into the pallet barbecue grill. Each meat is really important. I felt that beef, lamb, chicken and pork was the right kind of meats to go into this epic burger of epic proportions. I felt like a god deserved that kind of luxury. So here we are right now making it just the way that I put it. Super exciting. I feel like Kratos would be proud if he was here to see it. And you know what I'd say to you? Blind man would be happy to see you. I decided that I was going to use a binder with eggs and I was going to use some breadcrumbs to make it bind together. Biggest challenge of all is getting that consistency right. Otherwise those burgers will just fall apart. I'm a huge burger lover. As you've seen in my previous videos, you can check out the Don Burger from Mean Burger. With the chicken, I added a little bit more breadcrumbs, and of course I used the egg to make it bind together. 
I had a particular trouble binding the chicken together, I ended up adding in two cups of breadcrumbs to make it work. It's like, it's like a mesh. <laughs> Ooh. That's dangerous. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> ready, ready. Hold on. Wait, I need that. What? Whoa, look at that. This is the first time I've made this burger, right? Is it gonna turn out well then? I honestly have no idea. I mean, I'm hoping it's gonna turn out okay, but I honestly can't say it will turn out okay because I've never done it before, right? I'm yeah. sorry, I have my doubts, but uh. Oh, yes. The meat's looking good, at least. Say what? Hey, yeah! Yeah, so I believe that's almost ready. Cheese? Well, that's what we got to do, so let's get ahead and let's do that. All right. All right, ready? One, mm -hmm. two, two, three. Let's, let's do this! this. Cheese time! All right, oh, yeah. let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, hey, hey, oh, oh. oh man, the smoke gets me every single time, honestly. Yeah, at least you're not wearing glasses. Oh, no one's going to fog them up for you. Just put the cheese on. Oh, that's my job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So what are we saying? Oh my goodness. Oh, now we have to open this. That's okay. Because it's easy to open. <laughs> All right. All right. Come on, get this cheese on. Well, we're, we're using a cheddar cheese here today. A nice orange American cheddar cheese. Punch hang. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm that is just so good. Oh, I know. I'm oh. breaking it. Oh, so, right. chicken and cheese is just a combination. Lamb and cheese. That's good. Pork and cheese. I mean, like beef and cheese. We all know all beef right, and next. cheese, right? Well, okay. In the tray we go. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Ooh. I'm going to scoot that up. I'm going to have. Hey, what did you just do? Lamb and cheese. Oh, mm. oh it's so good. I'm just drawing thinking about it. Oh my god. Wow. I'm gonna I'm gonna split right, this. Beef and cheese. I'm gonna split this because oh, <laughs> some of some of them wouldn't come apart. That is just absolutely shocking, isn't it? There we go. Mm. Right. Done done done. Door closing. Yum, Ooh. yum, yum. And we go. Oh, that's gonna. And we're gonna wind the temperature down now, anyway. Oh, really? To what temperature? What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. The door doesn't like me tonight. The door doesn't like me. So this is gonna take about five more minutes. Then we're gonna build our burger. Okay. Okay. Uh, what temperature are you doing it at? So we're just doing it at 180 degrees to finish it off. That's what we're doing. What was, the, what was the temperature before that? So the temperature before that was about 200 degrees Celsius. Nice and hot. Get them cooked. Like turn them over halfway and then boom, cheese melt five minutes. Oh, the burger. cheese is already melting. It looks oh. so good. <sighs> All right. I'm so hungry. I want your soul. So what? What? Actually, no. I just want you to eat my food, okay? And just keep watching. 
All right, it's done. So right let's here. get that out. Oh yeah, I know my stomach's aching. It's like I'm salivating even just looking at the food, but oh my. Okay, so we're gonna go chicken. Uh huh. Lamb for that one. Oh, okay. Then we go back down and we look for a pork. We go pork. And then we go do 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 do. And I picked that back one, looks really good. And then there's a beef for that one. Huh? Okay. And then? We're gonna go pork. Uh huh. Then we're gonna go lamb. Uh huh. And then we're gonna go beef, because that's your one. Can't eat chicken. I am chicken intolerant. Yes, that does exist. Yep, that's that it does it does actually exist. Um, and then we go in here like that. So we get that one on that one. Then that we one's get almost that. like a leaning tower of pizza. Mm, cheese, 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 cheese. Oh. That, that one's that one there. Ooh, ooh that, that tray. Ooh. Now what we can do is we can turn that off. All right, turning the thing off. There's okay. some still left on there, but that's three. Tanya and I are going to be the Kratos lovers. And Kiki here, she's allergic to chickens. We have to be very mindful that they think bad things can happen so we don't give people things they're allergic to. Don't want mm. to send me to hospital. No, no sorry. All right, what's next? Okay, so now it's uh, time to build our burger, guys. Okay, I want to build our burgers. I felt like it was time to construct my burger and make sure that it didn't fall over. I put my beef on first, then I did my pork, then I put my lamb on next, and then I put my chicken on last. I decided to do it in that order because that's how Kratos would have wanted it to be. It's really important that we stack this burger so it doesn't fall over. There's one thing I haven't done before, is make one of these epic Kratos burgers fit for a god because I'm telling you now this is intense I wanted to make that burger and nothing was gonna stop me what I wanted to do hopefully I succeed in doing this oh my god it actually it's is falling. falling it's actually falling hurry hurry up the lettuce on the lettuce on it's gonna do it it's gonna do it oh my god what's going on what's going on Hold on, hold on, one oh, more, hold no, on. No, come on! You got it! Oh my gosh! What are you gonna do? Whoa! What are you gonna do? Oh my gosh, it's actually falling. Oh hold on. Oh. And we managed to build this burger. Yeah. We they, did it. Yeah. Uh, Actual, like, even though it was like sliding and almost like falling over, oh like, we my managed God, to. Oh my God, I know. Wow. They, they said they couldn't, we couldn't build it, but, uh. We did it. Yeah, yeah. We, we did it and now you're gonna eat it. Yeah, that, I think that's the biggest challenge of all is I've got to eat this thing like... Oh my god! It's as big as my head. <laughs> yeah, so how do you eat your head if I eat the burger? Like, how does that work? That doesn't make any sense. Get your head screwed on straight, boy! Alright, <laughs> boy! Mm. Cullen is how do you eat the Kratos burger? How does one eat the Kratos burger? Well, for a start... I think, I think, uh... The meme of one does simply not eat the Kratos burger. <laughs> <laughs> or what about in Russia? You do not eat the Kratos burger. The Kratos burger eats you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I love it. I love it. Memes, mm -hmm. they just pop into my head, you know. Okay, they do, they do. So okay guys, you obviously want to see me eat this burger. I mean I want to do this burger for all of you guys. I think the biggest challenge that I'm gonna face is that like how do I eat that? You don't. <laughs> This sauce coming out of the other end. <laughs> <coughs> you might die in this process, but it's okay. That, I mean, I know how I'm gonna eat this. I really don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, that is the challenge. Mm. Mm. It's actually pretty good when you get a bite in there. Man, oh, so, so, but so much to take on. That's just so much. And um, how's it tasting? Delicious. Yep. Mm. Let me take that out for you. Oh boy. Mm. Smoking. I know, four mates. It's absolutely beautiful, mate. Mm. Let me tell you guys, from the side on, it looks absolutely disgusting. Mm, wow. But if he says it's good, I guess. Mm. I don't know what to do. This is 
an, an undertaking in itself. I'm gonna put this down for a moment. All right. All right. So that was a huge undertaking for you. Uh, I learned a lesson. You don't yep. want to build epic proportion burgers for spectacles or whatever reason, because these things are so messy. Like uh, I did this for you guys because I wanted you guys to eat how epic a burger could be made. It was for you guys. Tell me. How difficult was eating this burger for you? Probably the most difficult burger I've ever eaten in my life. It's just so huge, I couldn't even open my mouth wide and like... like you're, gonna, you're gonna make this burger again or...? Probably won't make this burger again unless you guys want me to make that burger again. I'll make it for you, but I ain't making it otherwise. All right. Okay, so what's next? If you would subscribe to my channel over here, that would make you an absolute legend if you did that for me. And if you would check out this video down here, that would make you even more awesome than you're already awesome. But yeah, just if you could check out that video, that'd be okay. And if you would like this video, make sure to share this video. And until the next video, see you in the next one. Bye!